Welcome to the Cataraqui Woods Dental Implant Institute. My name is Dr. Waji Khan. Today's presentation is brought to you by the Top Gun Dental Implant Study Club. For more information, visit the website www.topgundisc.com. Become the best of the best through education, training, and mentorship. Today we have a product review for you on Densply slash Astrotech implants. So in terms of an outline, in terms of what we're going to discuss here today, we're going to give you a brief product introduction on Astrotech implants or Densply implants, uh, specifications for this in terms of product packaging and reported features, features in terms of what's new and what's missing, uh, a review of the surgical and prosthetic tools uh, in, in, with respect to the ergonomics and their use. Uh, we're going to discuss the performance for this product in terms of both price and quality. We'll talk about some market comparables for this implant, some case examples, and finally, summary and conclusions. So the Astrotech implants have been around for a long time. Basically, they've been around as long as the Nobel BioCare MK2 implant. They are one of the original implant companies. Astrotech implant system uh, talks about the biomanagement complex in terms of function, beauty, and biology in perfect harmony. So in terms of specifications, in terms of the product, the packaging, and the reported features, the product itself uh, is the unique combination of independent features of the Astrotech implant system biomanagement complex, which ensures a reliable, predictable, and aesthetic result both in the short and the long term. So in terms of this, they have the following features. They have osseous speed, which basically is a chemically modified titanium surface with unique nanotopography that stimulates early bone healing and speeds up the bone healing process. Basically, it's their version of a sandblasted surface, which we've known for years uh, is better than a machine surface uh, like, the, like the original uh, the original Branamark implant. They talk about microthread. So they're one of the originators of the microthread, which they talk about biomechanical bone stimulation, which is minute threads on the implant neck that offer optimal low distribution and stress values. And this is correct. And this feature has been copied by pretty much everybody else. They talk about a conical seal design, which is a strong and stable fit. A conical connection that seals off the interior of the implant from surrounding tissue, which minimizes micro movements and micro leakage. So with respect to peri-implant diseases, some one of the theories that one person has put forward is that it has to do with leakage that occurs at the implant and abutment interface. So having a conical connection or a longer connection so there's more surface uh, is obviously going to lead to next uh, less uh, micro leakage in this respect. So a lot of the implant companies these days it, are sort of copying this original conical seal that uh, Astrotech had originated uh, in terms of you see there's the 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 Nobel BioCare conical connection, there's the the conical connection uh, uh, Strawman implants, there's the conical connection. I mean, you name it, every company is trying to go towards a conical connection. However, the literature still doesn't necessarily demonstrate that a conical connection is going to be immune to things like microleakage. Lastly, there's the connective contour, which increases the soft tissue contact zone and volume. And so this unique contour that's created when you con connect the abutment uh, to the implant, also known as a bit of a platform shift uh, if, you're, if you're looking for what the lingo, uh, what the lingo means in English. So uh, going to packaging, these implants are packaged very nicely. Unfortunately, they come in this little square, which isn't necessarily as easy to uh, transport around as, as the uh, round tubes and stuff like Nobel BioCare or the Implant Direct Implant. Uh, however, the one thing that's neat with this implant system is they're probably the only implant system that I have used where they actually have a tin foil seal. Uh, so a lot of the implant companies will tell you that the implants are sterile. However, uh, when I take a look at them, it's like a little bit of a twist top or something like that. There's nothing actually, uh, I mean, if you were to drop this Astrotech implant underwater, yeah, I could pretty much guarantee you that nothing's going to leak inside this uh, this air in, inside this the square tube. So once you actually break the tube open, they have basically a little ring that holds everything together. Uh, the implants themselves are very easy to access, and the drivers and stuff make it very useful or very easy to uh, take this implant from, say, your surgical tray to the patient uh, the patient's mouth. In terms of reported feature, what's new and what's missing? Basically, there's really not much that's new uh, with this implant. It's been the same implant for a long time. They did some things in terms of modifying the contour uh, in terms of where it sits. Uh, with respect to the bone, but I mean, um, you, if, after you place like you know like 100 or 200 implants, you'll be like, okay, well, how am I supposed to like you know like match this thing up unless it's a pressed implant? So a lot of the things or gimmicks that they sort of came out with in order to modify this implant, they're not necessarily clinically relevant. Uh, what you can applaud this company for is that a lot of their innovations, like the conical seal, like the micro threads 
like the platform shift. Uh, those are things that have really been incorporated or stolen by other companies uh, with respect to their implants. In terms of what's missing with this implant, I guess uh, there's not really much you can say is missing. Uh, I mean, com my original comment in the sense that not much has really changed uh, is probably a credit to this implant company in the sense that what they invented a long time ago has kind of become like kind of the gold standard and a lot of things that they have uh, work and they work well. So in terms of uh, the features we talk about, here's a picture here of the Osseo Speed, the microthread, the conical seal, and the, the connective contour uh, for this uh, implant system. And moving towards a review of the surgical and prosthetic tools, uh, all I can say is their surgical kit and prosthetic kit are pretty cool. So this is a picture of the surgical kit. As you can see, it's kind of large, so it doesn't necessarily make it amenable to most sterilizers out there. You need to really use a large sterilizer to sterilize this with CSR wrap and tape. Uh, the actual surgical kit is very redundant. There are so many components in here. So when you see this sort of picture here, uh, Basically, to me, it looks kind of confusing. Uh, from an implant surgery perspective, it's an amazing kit in the sense that it offers you a lot of stuff. But, I mean, in terms of basically getting stuff back in there, cleaning these things and making sure they all go back in the right spot, it can become a bit challenging when you compare this to, say, uh, the implant director uh, MIS or Strawman kits or something that's even more bare bones like the uh, ask the Nobel active surgery kit when you take the top off there's also this little titanium dish and a bunch of other tools and there's room inside here to throw your own favorites and stuff like that as well here's a picture of the actual drills these are excellent quality uh, they once again just like any other drill after a, a bit of time they get dull you need to buy new ones uh, the price for the drills they're fairly you know they're fairly pricey they're not as affordable as say some of the other implant manufacturers but they work fairly well and the color guides for the actual sizes uh, the laser etching on them uh, sorry that what I'm trying to say uh, works fairly well and it, it's uh, very easy to follow when you're actually placing it inside the mouth here's a picture of the AstroTech uh, motor basically if you recognize it it's basically labeled AstroTech but it's the implant med unit that's very commonly used uh, amongst many implant companies in terms of the prosthetic kit, this is the best prosthetic kit I have ever had. I have two of them, and I basically have them whenever I'm restoring any implant. There's tons of room to throw your favorites uh, inside here as well. Uh, there's little screwdrivers and stuff like that, and, you know, in case you know a screw breaks or something like that, and you need to section it to get it out. This kit comes with everything you need. It even comes with a zest anchor locator uh, uh, female uh, changing tool, which is kind of which is kind of neat. Uh, the, you know, it's, it's a bit pricey, but I mean it's no more pricey than you know many of the restorative kits for many other implant companies uh, here's a picture of some of the impression copings that they do use for astrotech implants uh, one thing that's nice about these imp these impression copings is that they're uh, fairly easy to place not as easy to place as say some of the long nobel active impression copings and they have these nice wings to grab impression material here's a photograph of some of the implant analogs that come along once again standard implant analog nothing nothing fancy here uh, the only thing I could knock them was say that you know it could have some color to it. It can you know make things look a little bit cooler, but it's not necessary. Here's a, a picture of some of the uh, healing abutments that come in a variety of uh, sizes and shapes. Uh, on the right are the uh, cover screws, and you notice that the cover screws also have a bit of a conical seal to them. And this picture is a picture of a temporary cylinder. So there's a number of components that do come along. Uh, with this implant system uh, on the left you can see some of the things i was referring to in terms of you know changing the sort of contour of the coronal aspect of the implant but i mean you, unless you like like get it perfect like uh, it's not going to necessarily always marry up with that curved ridge uh, many times you have to you know over i hate to say it but you have to over drill and basically put the implant uh, or flat you know take an instrument and flatten a ridge out in order to get it more uh, make it more amenable for implant placement in terms of ergonomics, basically it's your standard implant med unit with the WNH handpiece. The kit flows nicely and logically. There's lots of small parts, uh, and it doesn't have a color flow system. There's basically little arrows and stuff like that. Uh, as I mentioned, with the imp the surgical unit, uh, sorry, sorry, the surgical kit, uh, there's a lot of components and stuff there. So I mean, you know, you can figure it out, but you're hoping that your staff can figure it out and people don't lose things or people don't end up putting things in the wrong spot. In terms of performance, it's a pricey implant. It's a more premium implant. The components and abutments are a corresponding uh, higher price as well. It is a high quality product. It's great packaging, excellent service. Uh, one of the knocks I could give them is that they don't necessarily have the best you know, web support. And uh, the in terms of 
uh, in terms of a network of uh, representatives and stuff. Uh, I used to have an, an AstroTech rep, and they haven't really called me in a long time. So, uh, I mean, I'm not quite sure uh, what the what the service and support and stuff is like. But anyway, it's not bad. Uh, comparables, not very many. That's one of the things that's very neat about this implant is that not many people have actually copied uh, the implants. The newer conical connection implants are coming closer to what Astra has had out for many years, but no one's really copied the uh, AstroTech implant uh, in, uh, in in basically like you know an exact copy, so you're going to buy like aftermarket implants. So let's do a case example here. We have a 52 year old healthy female who presents to us with caries, gingivitis, and partial edentulism, and she's seeking a treatment plan. Uh, the only catch here is the patient lives in a foreign country and was referred to me uh, by a colleague and would like to get some treatment. So here's a photograph of uh, the radiograph or the Panorex for this patient. You can see, one can see that there are some broken teeth, some caries, some teeth that need to go, and some uh, other uh, per periodontal. Uh, basic, you know, gingivitis, periodontitis, that sort of stuff that needs to be treated for this patient. So the treatment plan for this patient is consent photo models, charting, etc. Sanative periodontal treatment and restorative treatment in conjunction with implant surgery, uh, and then basically healing and prosthetics delivery, and then finally a bite plate and follow up for this patient. So in this panorex, you can see that we've uh, done the or completed the. Uh, uh, extractions and the imp basic implant surgery for this patient using uh, the AstroTech implant system. Here is a photograph or radiographs of the healing abutments that are in place. Here are the impression copings. You, you can appreciate how nice those impression copings will grab the impression material. They stick out of the uh, implant a fair distance as well, so they're easy to sort of get in. Here's a radiograph of the crown, the UCLA crown that's been delivered on the bottom left. And here's some photographs here of the actual impression coping for the top right implant. Uh, once we remove the healing abutment, you can see that conical seal design and how healthy the tissue looks in this particular case. And then finally, delivery of the crown following the standards of you know checking your contacts, checking your margins with a radiograph, and then checking the occlusion. This implant system recommends that you torque the implants down to 25 Newton centimeters. And we did that for this patient, waited 10 minutes, torqued them again and then basically completed the restoration with a Teflon plug and some composite resin. And on the right, you can see the radiograph of the imp completed uh, implant restoration for this patient along with the restorations that have been completed. Uh, and this patient will be seeing us uh, when, when the patient returns uh, from overseas for follow-up. So in terms of a summary, we did gave you a product introduction to the AstroTech implant. We gave you specifications in terms of product packaging and reported features, features in terms of what's new and what's missing, surgical and prosthetic tool and ergonomic review of this system, performance in terms of both price and quality, comparables for this implant, case examples, and lastly, summary and conclusions. So conclusions, basically it's an excellent product. Uh, it's fairly easy to use minus the surgical system that is a bit confusing. Uh, there's decent customer support, a lack of a website, uh, and I haven't heard from my rep in a while. And in terms of value, as I mentioned, it's one of the more premium implants, but uh, it all comes down to sort of like the same conclusion I gave with the Nobel BioCare implants. So if, you know, some people, they want the Mercedes uh, of, uh, you know, of dentistry. Some people, they just want like a Ford or, or General Motors. No, no knock on Ford or General Motors. Uh, but I mean, it basically comes down to what people value and what they're willing to pay. Uh, a couple of the references that were in, used in the production of this uh, review. And lastly, on behalf of the entire dental treatment team at the Cataraqui Woods Dental Implant Institute, I want to thank you for listening to our presentation.